first beta build for the revamp legendary item system is on Bulwar, and in this video I'm going to try to explain what the new system is all about as simply as I can. Starting off right now on the screen, I'm just showing the brawler weapon and the runekeeper weapon as well as the brawler class item and the runekeeper class item. The reason I have runekeeper here is just to show that it's just the same for every class. Every weapon has the same amount of slots. Every class item has the same amount of slots. The only issue I encountered with this is Hunter and Warden have two weapons. They're going to be missing one of these slots right here because they only have two on each. But hopefully they'll change the like the Hunter Sword and the Warden Javelin to have three slots as well. But in this video, I'm just going to be focusing on the Brawler. It could have been any any type of uh, class, but I'm just going to select a Brawler because I'm on my Brawler right now. So when you get your legendary items, they're going to be item level 51 and 50. These are the items you're going to get as a brand new player at level 50 for the Moria quest. And as always, you can just equip your weapon, equip your class item. They're both equipped just like the old allies, they're going to be equipped in your slots. Nothing's going to change there. And the only reforging you're going to have to do is reforging the items when you level up. I'm going to go to the reforge raven. Alright, I'm at my reforge guy. And reforge my gauntlets. Let's rename them to boxing gloves. You hit reforge. Boxing gloves is now item level 445, which is level 130. And the only times you're going to have to reforge after this is when you level up. So when we get to 140, probably with Gundabad, you go and do this and reforge just to raise the item level. I can do this on my stein as well, my my beer mug reforge same thing item level 445 both my items are now reforged let's get back to the other stuff so now i have my allies freshly reforged both up to my item level for my level and as you can see there's some different types of slots that i'm going to go through just want to quickly mention that the bottom one, both items seem to be locked. It's probably going to be unlocked through some gameplay or by leveling up, but I'm not sure. Or it's a mistake right now. I'm not sure about that one. So currently on Bull Roar, there's no real, there's no like tab like this one for the allies at the moment. Hopefully we'll get something in the future. The only way to really look at these items right now to go to your character panel and actually drag the item into the essence slot on your character panel and it'll show you all of this all of these slots you can also go here to equip stuff and drag it from your bags into this but before i actually look at all the slots it's important to notice that there's one difference in the slots with both items every weapon has one less word of power you see the these have three word of power and this have has only two word of power everything else is the same six of these each three of these each and one of these each the only difference is you have two on your weapon and three on your class item so now looking at the item itself you have one heraldric tracery on each each item has one heraldric tracery and i have a screenshot right here these are the current heraldric traceries as you can see there's four different tiers and the higher tier is at the bottom the gold items give better stats and as you can see the lesser the the rarity, then the less stats you get. 
these are going to be obtainable throughout the game. Obviously, the higher tier, the harder to get, as it should be. Right As of right now, on a Heraldric Tracery, you have main stat, like Might. You have Vitality. And you have a stat, like Mastery. They've said that the Heraldric Tracery will, in the future, will also get, like, damage rating and healing rating on them. So they're gonna be part of your damage and healing rating as well, affecting your ally. But as of right now, you can only slot one Heraldric uh, Tracery in your weapon. And these are the current options that we have. And we get to the only difference. Last item has three Word of Power Traceries. And the weapon has two Word of Power Traceries. The Word of Power Traceries are probably the most unique type of Tracery that we're getting. On your class items you have three slots. On your weapons you have two slots for these. I have screenshots of the current Word of Power Traceries. You have three different types that you can have. All of these are damaging ones. I'm only showing the highest tier for these. But just like the Heraldric, you have four tiers of rarities. But you have these damaging ones. And you have your healing ones. And you have your tanking ones. So pretty much you can obtain all of these and you can slot five of these in your allies, three on your class item, two on your weapon as of right now. Each ally will have six Word of Masteries. Traceries. The Word of Mastery have six slots on each ally. And these are your class specific ones. So on the screen right now I'm showcasing the Heartseeker damage for Hunter. I'll be showcasing all of these in a different video coming soon. But you get the idea, just like before, you have four different tiers. The higher the tier, the better the bonus is on your item. Or on your tracery. If you have one of those, and if you're a hunter, they would go into your Word of Mastery. Six in each ally, meaning you can have 12 different traceries for your class specific bonuses. And each item will have three Word of Craft traceries. The Word of Craft slot have three on each ally. The bottom one is locked. As I said, I don't know how to unlock it right now. You have three slots. Word of Craft is the basic, really simple. You just slot a stat into that. This is the highest tier of the Word of Craft traceries. So really basic. You just put whatever stat you want into those three slots. And the final item I'm going to showcase in this video is the Enhancement Runes. As you can see, they also have four different tiers, right here. There's also ones for 131, hinting at maybe a level cap increase for 140. But as of right now, these are the ones that we're going to use. So you have the four different rarities. Enhancement runes are used to enhance your tracery and level up their item level. So right now I'm going to show the basic way that you deal with your legendary items. I have bartered for a Heraldric Tracery of Lion, of Might, Vitality, and Physical Mastery. You drag this, you can see the Heraldric slot is glowing. Equip it in your Heraldry. Base item level on each Tracery is 400. Max level is 449. Scrolling down a little bit. I have two slots for Word of Power. I did get myself the AoE attack damage one. I'm going to slot this into one of my Word of Power ones. Same thing, they're all both 400. 
Word of Mastery, I got a Class Tracery for Brawler. More targets for my backhand clout attack. Drag that into Word of Mastery. Level 400, and finally a Word of Craft. I'm getting some Physical Mastery in my Word of Craft. So you get the idea, you can just fill your slots with whatever legacies or traceries, as they're called now, that you prefer. So any of these will go into any of your traceries, but at some point you're not going to be able to use the rarity. So we'll start with the lowest one. I'm going to upgrade my AoE attack damage. 441, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going until it tells me that I can't go any further with the deepest one. And right there you see, Enhancement Rune cannot be used. Purple one is able to be used. The limit for the yellow ones are 420. You'll also notice that the only thing getting increased on my tracery are the stats, not the main bonus. So this is, if you want to upgrade your stuff, you're going to get the benefit of stats. That's it, not the bonus. This is purely for min-maxing. There we go, 430 seems to be the limit for the purple. So 420, 430, and I'm assuming 440. I've reached 440. This is the limit for the teal ones. So 420, 430, 440. Then we have the gold ones. And we finally reached the cap for the gold ones as well, 449. You'll notice the only thing that increased was the mastery. Increase from about 12k to 22k. AoE attack damage not impacted. So this is purely for min maxing. I believe it's the same with the heraldic one. So I think all the stats increase. Yeah, on this one, all these stats will increase. Same thing, yellow ones can go to 420, purple goes to 430, 440 for teal, and 449. For the gold ones. And look at the word of mastery one as well. I believe only the stat will increase the mastery. There you can see it. Bonus stays the same. This is purely for min maxing your stats, which I think is good. It doesn't require you that you have to do it to get all the bonus like the bonus. But you want those extra stats? This is a good, good grind, in my opinion. But hopefully, they make us able to drag like have eight of these, eight at once instead of just one by one. That's a bit tedious. And obviously, the word of craft will increase the stat on the mastery. That's pretty much the new LI system. It's still very early beta build. The legacies might change. A lot of stuff might change, but if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments or go to my Discord server and ask questions, and I'll try to answer as good as I can. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for more beta videos, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.